and there was also such a crowd at a book night before my life. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you, Council, Council Connell. I'm grateful to be here tonight and uh, accompanied by my daughter. My wife couldn't make it here tonight. And I would like to thank the McCroom Senior Citizens for, Senior Citizens for inviting me here tonight. And I would also like to thank Claire and our family, Dean, and also Sean and Maura, for the wonderful work they have put into this book. And I can tell you it is a lot of work because I got a loan of a DVD about a month ago, and I've seen some of the photographs, just a few of them, and I can tell you there are some photographs there, and they are wonderful photographs. Again, my father's in, the few, in one or two of them, and I can tell you the whole town, I'd say, nearly have someone belong to them, or somebody else, a cousin, or some relation of theirs in the photographs. It is the best collection I've seen, and it was it take an enormous amount of time to put together. Um, you have from the old times, going back to the railway station in McCroom, the FCA, the all the G games, everything, bowling, you name it. It's in it, uh, the Corpus Christi. Anything that was going McCroom, it was on Dennis's camera. And it's fantastic to, to associate myself tonight here with the Dean, fa the Dean family because I know his brother, Crewer, because I lived next door to Christy, our Mercy, who was also passed away, and who was my babysitter for quite a while. And I love, I'm delighted to be asked here tonight. Again, I'm not going to say much more. I'm going to just say that in the times of the black and white photographs, I would say, look, I'm not a great judge maybe, but I, I like photographs myself. But I think in his time, he was one of the best photographers around, even I would say in Ireland. And there was no one else that could use the camera like him. He cut photographs when people weren't looking, when people were doing something else, or they were marching around. And Dennis was the man to capture them on the camera. Again, I would like to thank everybody for coming here tonight. And I left out maybe a month or several ago, and my fellow councillors. So again, thanks for inviting me here tonight. Good evening, Margaret. Uh, thank you, Mayor. I'm going to call on uh, Sean McSweeney if he's able to, like he's, uh, he's being old. <laughs> Sean, if you're in, we've watched you next door if you want to don't go to the door. <laughs> Sean McSweeney, you can end himself up a point of it. <laughs> right. Tonight is a fitting tribute to a great photographer and a vibrant character typical of McCroom and Mosby. Dennis Deneen's skill behind the lens is unquestionable. He recorded the mundane as part of his daily work and did it well. But his imagination and creativity came into play at the end of the film strips. Using a few frames that were left on a roll to record vital scenes and images of posterity. It was my good fortune, maybe sometimes I thought it was a curse, <laughs> that Claire entrusted me with Dennis's negatives. Though very well filed, the keys to those files were lost. With no records, I had to view each film strip manually before trying to determine what I should print in the dark room. While I was still teaching, I had only time to dip into sections of the collection now and again for exhibitions, history books, and newspaper articles. But in recent years, and with Martin Fitzgerald's constant nagging, <laughs> I spent more time scanning and filing the negatives, and this is the result. It's only a fraction of the whole, only 1%, if you don't mind. But I think it gives a feeling that the man that Dennis Deneen was and the conditions in mid cart during the middle of the last century. Deneen's bar, his home, his kingdom, were where he captured the best portraits and local characters. He loved McCroom, and he has done it a great service by recording its streets, buildings, and people as they went about their work and play during the harsh realities of the 50s, 60s, and 70s. I am glad the job is finally done, and done for a good cause. Claire was in total agreement with me when I proposed that the book would be a fundraiser for the senior citizens. 
My relationship goes back with him to times before this hall was built. I was chairman then and the geriatric committee, as it was then called, has come a long way since and has achieved a huge amount for our senior citizens. I am glad to see that Regine is still on board. When the current chairman When the current chairman, Pat O'Connell, spoke of the dream of having an Alzheimer's daycare centre at the Father Ryan Hall, that made this project seem even more appropriate. And I hope that Mosby, through the lens of Dennis Deneen, will contribute hugely to the service. It was a great boost when West Cock Development Partnership, better known to some of us as leader, agreed to subsidise the printing of the book. We thank our facilitator, Lisa Cashman, Ian Dempsey, and Ivan McCutcheon for their help and encouragement, and everyone who helped with our submissions. Naming characters and occasion depicted in photographs was a huge task, and I couldn't have done it without the help of many, of whom I am delighted to see here tonight. That was one of the enjoyable parts of the preparation, chatting with you about the characters and events and hearing many a tale that couldn't be repeated in public. <laughs> I didn't even attempt to name the large groups, teams, classes, committees and such, but I would encourage those of you who remember the times depicted in the book to keep a notebook with you and write down any information you have about different photographs. We won't be here forever, and if you record that information, it may be useful and of interest to someone further down the line. Again, I won't attempt to name all the people who helped me with captions. They went far beyond what I asked of them and found anything they didn't already know. Thanks to Jimmy McCarthy for agreeing to launch this book. His family is so much part of McCroom and Musbury that it is most fitting that he be with us here tonight. His aunt, Martha McCarthy, would be, have relished the occasion. She has a great appreciation of our heritage and was most generous in sharing her photographs and memories. The book... Uh, this book would not have been possible without, without my own Mara's input. She did all the writing, as well as helping to choose pictures and make decisions about it and the layout. It was a really a team effort with great support from Mihal, who organized nationwide program that should, should be shown on our TE1 on the 14th of December and Nance, who got great publicity for the publication in newspapers and radio. But tonight mainly is for the Deneens. For Claire, Con, Govnet, Valerie, Lawrence, Josephine, Dennis, and all the grandchildren. You can rejoice in the fact that your husband, father, grandfather, has left Musbury, and indeed the whole of Ireland, with an invaluable legacy a record of all that we were. The Rev. Neil Mahathir. I'm now ready to call on uh, Lisa Cashman from West Cork Development Partnership. Uh, Sylvia Wastel. Thank you, Lisa. Good evening, everyone. Um, that's quite an act to follow, um, but I shall try anyway. Um, as Pat said, um, my name is Lisa Cashman and I work with the West Cork Development Partnership and we are delighted to have supported this um, publication. Um, many months ago, um, I met with uh, Sean, Maura, um, Pat, Joe and uh, we started in the process of uh, trying to, to pull this all together to how they would make the application and uh, I suppose it just... we. We, we went along that path and we got there eventually and uh, um, we allocated funding in, I think it was May of this year. So it's, it's taken from May to, to here to have the final publication. So that in itself, I think, shows how much time and work and effort that the um, Sean and Maura have put into this. 
Um, I would also like to thank the Janine family. Um, as Sean said, again, this is their night. Um, so um, again, I'd just like to say to everybody, um, the Westport Development Partnership are actively looking for projects um, of this nature. This is a fabulous example of um, a cultural heritage project. Um, and this area is beyond um, wealthy in, in, in that. Um, so again, um, please feel free to contact me. And um, without further ado, I will hand it back to Pat again. And congratulations on, on the achievement. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. Uh, I know the con uh, lands to say to say a few words on behalf of the Deneen family. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. Um, when Sean approached Claire and the family about his intentions of this book, we thought it was a fantastic idea. The Deneen family are delighted that our dad's photos will benefit the people in town of McCroom. We would like to compliment Pat O'Connell, Sean, in this very important event and for the senior citizens and wish them every success. Thanks for Jimmy McCarthy for being here to launch this very special book. Uh, it's a, a tribute to our father, and in the front seat in front of me is a school pal of his, Pat Reardon, known as Pat the Barber, who's right and fitting on the front page of the book. With welcome, Pat. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Sh Sean, Claire, Denise, our family are truly grateful to you, your wife, Maura, for your incalculable work, dedication, not alone for this book, but for the past 25 years in keeping Dennis Neen's memory and dream, dreams alive. We wish you well as you embark on your new journey with and through this book. We thank, uh, Claire Deneen is a proud lady tonight along with our children, grandchildren. And I'm also delighted that my uncle Kruhor could be here tonight. Thanks for coming. <laughs> may, <laughs> we are content now knowing that the name Sean McShivna shares a place on the front cover of a book with Dennis Deneen. Thank you, have a wonderful night. <laughs> Um, I'd like to welcome everybody here and um, I guess tonight is all about the produce and the product of um, merely a photograph merely is you know a word but we have a product which is a photograph and when we think of photography if you look at the the definition of what photography is it's the art and science and practice of creating durable images and to photograph is to appropriate the thing photographed, and it means putting oneself into a certain relation to the world that feels like knowledge and therefore like power. Photographers decide what to take a photo of and what elements to exclude and what angle to frame the photo. And these particular factors may reflect a particular socio-historical context. And along these lines, it can be argued that photography is a subjective form of presentation. Confucius once said, a picture is poem without words. Every thread of gold is valuable, so every minute of time. As we reflect in this book on days gone by, we learn that it's shared moments and simple pleasures that, most, that matter most of all. Beautiful memories tell our story and wrap themselves in ribbons of the heart. I'd like to say thank you very much to my dad and to Sean and Moore and to every single person that's involved in the production of this amazing book. And on behalf of mom and the family, we'd like to thank you all very, very much from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you. Now I'd like to call on um, one, two, the third three men of McCroom, Jimmy McCarthy, to launch the book. I 
I had to look around to, to see if that was me for a second. Um, it's great to be here tonight, and it's an honour to um, launch this book. It's a very beautiful book. I remember Dennis Deneen when I was a little boy. I used to come on my summer holidays and stay at 64 across the, room, across the road there with my grandmother, Hanny McCarthy. But I remember Dennis very distinctly, and I always remember Claire, a very warm and friendly woman. I think it's a fantastic um, day for the Deneens today to honour a lifetime of creative work and historical documentation. It's not a light thing, it's quite a weighty cultural thing, and it's an incredible thing to have at the end of a lifetime of work like that. But to have gone to such work, Sean's work, in compiling the work with, with the whole team and with Maura and um, everything, is an extraordinary bit of work. And I think it's something that the whole town can be proud of. And I certainly think it's a wonderful thing. I've even recognised faces um, that I remember as a small boy running around the, the streets. I used to sell the evening press from door to door for a guinea for three months. I don't know what it was about a guinea, but I was supposed to feel richer if there was a shilling added onto the pound. <laughs> but anyway, it's a great honour to be here. I, it's a fantastic day for, for Claire Deneen and her family. And I think it's for the cause and for the goodwill of the whole thing. It's tangible in the air here this evening. So thank you very much. It's my pleasure to be here. Thank you. Uh, thanks for the Jimmy. Uh, just to let you know that the book will be on sale tomorrow morning uh, here in McCroom. It will be on sale at the McCroom Bookshop, uh, both at McCarthy's and Joe in the Main Street, and uh, Jerry Gray's in Lou Street, and Edwin will be also selling in the, in the square and it's been sale here uh, at the Senior Citizen Centre. It'll also be sale in Cork and Lee Russell's Bookshop and in Benegay for Frankie Deneen. So, as I say to you, I think it's a fabulous production. I think it'll make a lovely, lovely Christmas present. So tell your friends about it, tell them what it's all about, and <coughs> hopefully we'll sell the 1,500 copies that we printed. Now, there's a small few presentations to be made, um, and I'll proceed with those. First of all, let me look behind me and see what's happening. <laughs> Lawrence, there's a presentation too. Some of, some of you, I mean, yeah. Tomorrow. There's also a presentation from Lance to Laura and Sean. <laughs> now I'd like to call on Claire to present something to Jimmy McCarthy. <laughs> Here is a photograph of the Terrence Hotel in the Square of Crew, where Jimmy B. Cathy was born. <laughs> and there's even a petrol pump for Jimmy. That's fantastic. Oh, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. I remember that shirt. So, Sean, I found the negative and he blew up. See, we said because Sean and the side of the dark and would last two years, we'd throw a bit of light in something. <laughs> 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 